Hi, I'm Elizabeth Hills, and as a certified personal trainer and licensed realtor, there are so many ways to move with me. Join me now for a quick workout that will help you stay fit to move no matter where life's adventures take you. So grab your mini band, and if you don't have a mini band, click the link below. If you're in the greater Portland, Oregon area, I will send you one for free. So we're going to start with an upper body exercise. We're going to secure the mini band up overhead, and I want you to keep this arm nice and vertical. And then we're going to use the other arm to just pull straight down. So think about your, your body position as being in a standing plank. You want to create lots of stability, starting with your feet. Keep your hips stacked right over your ankles. And then we want to keep this stationary arm locked out so you're getting lots of shoulder stability there while you pull with your opposite arm. So after we've done about eight reps or so, we're going to shake that off and switch sides. So reaching up, hold that secure position, stabilizing your shoulder, and then pull straight down. You want to feel this in your upper back, your shoulder, and then of course, like I said, it's almost like a standing plank, so you might notice your core is working. This is so important for all of life's activities, and if you are getting ready to move soon, you know you're going to be moving boxes and shuffling things around a lot, so it's important to have nice, healthy shoulders and a strong core. We also need strong legs, so let's bring the mini band up above our knees. We're going to just do a basic squat now. So planting your feet, maybe just a little wider than hips width, but whatever's comfortable for your body. Drop your shoulders down and back, zip your rib cage together, and we're just going to sit into our imaginary chair. So reaching your hips way back behind you. Let's do about eight to 10 of these. This helps build strong glutes, quads, even ankles. I'll turn sideways so you can see the side view. Notice I really shift my hips way back and I try to keep my spine nice and long. So no slouching, no rounding forward. Let's just do a few more. Nice, okay, and we're gonna end with a core exercise. So come down onto your back. You can leave your band right where it is above your knees. Just gonna lay back. Now I want you to think about kind of gently tilting your pelvis back, hucking your tailbone up so that you can feel the floor underneath your low back. Keep your ribs down. Now we're gonna lock one knee in over our hip while we open up the other side. So you'll definitely feel a little bit of work in the legs and hips, but as you start to go through a few more reps, you'll notice how much effort it is on your core to hold this position. You wanna avoid flopping over to one side, so you really have to keep that, that stationary side hip really locked to, into the ground. So keep those ribs tight. If you start to feel any discomfort in your low back, take a little break, reset. And again, eight to 10 is a good place to be on these. Good, so give your knees a little hug in between sides just to release your low back. And then we'll go to the other side. So this knee now is gonna stay straight. Keep the ribs tight. Keep the stationary side hip locked into the ground. This is a great set that you can do as an entire workout if you want to repeat for you know three to four sets each, or this is a great warm up for a heavier workout. So you can do these types of movements to prepare for a little bit of heavier strength training. Heavier strength training is so healthy for your body so that wherever life takes you, your next move, your next adventure, that you can enjoy it to the fullest. So thank you for moving with me. Again, check the link below so I can send you a free mini band if you're in the Portland metro area. Make sure to leave me comments. Let me know where your life's adventures are taking you next.